Rocket Lab is an American end-to-end -end space company originally founded in New Zealand in 2006 by Peter Beck. Rocket Lab launches, designs, manufactures, and operates spacecraft with a planned endgame to enter the space services market in the years to come. In 2024, Rocket Lab achieved the record of fastest commercial launch vehicle to 50 launches with their Electron Small Sat Launcher and hypersonic testbed, Haste, with plans to launch their mega constellation launcher, Neutron, a medium class, rapidly reusable launcher, no earlier than 2025. Rocket Lab is manufacturing constellations for SDA and Global Star with combined contract value over 640 million. Developing the spacecraft that will go to Mars via New Glenn later this year, and so much more. With a total backlog of 799 million for space systems and 215 million in launch for a total backlog of just over $1 billion. Rocket Lab is a space systems company who also launches, truly end to end. Let's go back in time to 2009, three years after Peter Beck formed the company. Rocket Lab launched Atia 1, a small sounding rocket to become the first private launch company in the Southern Hemisphere to reach space. This bolstered new credibility to the company and in 2010 aided Rocket Lab in landing a contract with the US government from the operationally responsive space office to study a low-cost launcher to place CubeSats into orbit. This began the path down the road towards the development of the Electron Launch Vehicle, a two-stage orbital launcher. As Rocket Lab's relationship with the US government and US investors grew stronger, they strategically moved the company's registration from New Zealand to the United States in 2013 and opened a headquarters in Huntington Beach, California. The New Zealand company became a subsidiary of the American company, Rocket Lab USA. In 2013, Costla Ventures, as well as Callaghan Innovation, a crown entity of the New Zealand government, provided additional funding to Rocket Lab to continue growing and expanding the company facilities, capabilities, and workforce. In 2014, Bessemer Venture Partners provided further investment into Rocket Lab, and in 2015, Lockheed Martin jumped into the pool of investors to support Rocket Lab's ambitious goals. In December 2016, spawned out of the former mentioned US government's contract to study a small sat launcher, Rocket Lab debuted their Electron rocket and completed its first flight qualification. The first launch occurred in May of 2017, reaching space though not achieving orbit due to a fault with a ground station communicating with the rocket. In 2017, in the wake of their accomplishment, Rocket Lab announced raising an additional US $75 million in a Series D equity round involving several previous investors. On the 21st of January 2018, Electron reached orbit and deployed three CubeSats successfully. This was soon followed by raising an additional US $140 million. This led the way for Electron's third launch in November of 2018, which was the first commercial launch successfully placing payload on orbit with precision for the customer. The Electron story goes near exponential from here, launching 47 more times by June of 2024, becoming the quickest commercial launcher to reach 50 launches in history, booking over 22 launches in 2024 alone. Within this time span, opening additional launch pads to land on a grand total of three, one in Wallops, Virginia, providing US launch capability, and two in New Zealand at Rocket Lab's private launch complex Launch Complex 1, the world's first private orbital launch complex. Today, Electron continues to increase launch cadence, has incorporated many advancements on its road to partial reusability, and recently signed a 10 launch contract from one customer, the largest contract in Electron's history. Electron also launches in an alternate configuration, Haste, offering a cost-effective and responsive hypersonic testbed. Haste provides reliable, high-cadence flight test opportunities needed to advance hypersonic and suborbital system technology development. Electron has become the leading global small launcher with an over 90% reliability rate and is the second most frequently launched vehicle in the United States behind SpaceX's Falcon 9. Over the years, Rocket Lab has simultaneously been building out its facilities, capabilities, and its workforce to accommodate offering a true end-to-end -end solution to its customers meaning Rocket Lab is deep into executing its end-to-end -end vision, having delivered upon the development of, operation of, and launch of satellites for commercial and government entities, a full end-to-end -end solution. Rocket Lab has opened advanced manufacturing and mission operations centers in Virginia, New Mexico, Colorado, Maryland, Toronto, and New Zealand. 
From manufacturing space systems components such as reaction wheels, star trackers, radios, space software, separation systems, solar cells, and even advanced composite structure design and manufacturing. Simplifying space and making it easy and affordable for companies, scientists, researchers, governments, entrepreneurs, and students alike. Top all of this, Rocket Lab offers a suite of pre-designed spacecraft to streamline missions for customers. Spacecraft coming in a number of variants have been the foundation of several missions, including NASA's capstone mission to the moon via Rocket Lab's Explorer spacecraft, Global Star and the Space Development Agency's constellations aboard Rocket Lab's Lightning spacecraft, Bar to Space Industries in space manufacturing aboard Rocket Lab's Pioneer spacecraft, and the original Photon spacecraft, which has supported missions such as LOXAT, a demonstration of a cryogenic fuel depot in low Earth orbit, to name just a few. Rocket Lab has many other fascinating missions coming in the future, such as Escapade, a mission to Mars, and a mission for the US Space Systems Command, Victus Hayes, in which under short notice, they will launch a rendezvous with another spacecraft to conduct a variety of dynamic space operations. Off the back of raising over 700 million US via IPO in 2020, Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck famously ate his hat in 2021 after years of stating they would not build a larger launcher when announcing they would be entering the medium launch vehicle market with a rapidly reusable mega constellation launch vehicle called Neutron. Neutron can lift up to 15,000 kilograms while expended, 13,000 kilograms while landing the booster downrange, and up to 8,000 kilograms with the first stage returning to the launch site. Neutron is designed to stand 42.8 meters tall by 7 meters wide, made head to toe of beautiful carbon composites, taking advantage of their ability to outperform traditional launcher materials at one fourth the weight per unit of strength. Neutron is designed for rapid reuse, leveraging the lightweight carbon composites to drastically reduce demand on the nine Archimedes engines on the first stage. Neutron is being designed with human rating in mind from day one. Neutron's second stage is the lightest second stage ever designed relative to its size. Rocket Lab anticipates 50% of payloads put on orbit by Neutron to be in support of their own future space services business, which is yet to be elaborated upon. Neutron's maiden launch is scheduled to be no earlier than mid-2025, the planned ramp rate of 135. 135 being each of the consecutive years following the first launch. One launch the first year, three the next, five the next, and so on, ramping up, much like Electron ramped up. Neutron targets a launch price somewhere in the neighborhood of $55 million and is anticipated to compete directly with Falcon 9 in the medium launch category. Rocket Lab has no plans to retire Electron as it continues to excel at placing small satellites to specific orbits at specific times. While Neutron will allow for customers to grow their constellations at a remarkable rate, the ability to place 46 times the mass to orbit in one go versus an electron launch. A very complementary pairing, continuing to lean into the true end-to-end -end philosophy of the company. Rocket Lab's construction of infrastructure in regards to Neutron is well underway, with assembly and stacking infrastructure being constructed in Wallops, Virginia, as well as Neutron's launch pad. Rocket Lab has displayed various peaks into Neutron development, showing molds, tooling, composites, tanks, and the Archimedes production-grade engine. Archimedes' engine will undergo hot-fire testing at Stennis Space Center in the coming weeks, marking a key milestone in the Neutron development timeline. Today, Rocket Lab offers a unique opportunity on the public market, being the only end-to-end -end space company. Having raised over $700 million at $10 per share upon IPO via SPAC in 2020, valuing the company at $4.8 billion US. Today, shares of the company can be obtained at under half the cost valuing the company, at 2.35 billion US. Since IPO, Rocket Lab continues to become a stronger company, increasing year-over-year -year revenue at an astonishing rate from 35 million in 2020 to 62 million in 2021, 211 million in 2022, 244 million in 2023, and now on pace to reach over 410 million revenue in 2024. They are following their original SPAC deck projections of revenue fairly closely which if holds valid would lead into 700 million plus for full year revenue in 2025 and a full doubling once again to 1.5 billion US for 2027. Rocket Lab today has around 500 million in cash and short-term investments, giving it runway for further mergers and acquisitions as well as to support their operations to an expected cash flow positive state no earlier than 2026 or 2027 
as the overhead from Neutron development winds down while simultaneously beginning recognition of revenue from the vehicle. To date, Rocket Lab has become one of two private companies delivering regular and reliable access to orbit. We are Rocket Lab. We are totally unreasonable people doing totally unreasonable things. You see, space is now open for business. Thank you very much.